but I felt like we weren't connecting and it really sent me in a downward spiral. I was crying. I was in the gutter. What's good guys? It's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be addressing or should I say, welcoming myself back in the YouTube space. Yes, I have been gone for a very long time. Now, even though you guys may have seen me uploading content here and there, you know, you guys will notice that this is not the usual content that, you know, you're used to or what I usually upload. So I wanted to come back and let you all know what's been going on with me. And now that I plan on being back, what you can expect moving forward. So let's jump right into it, shall we? <laughs> okay guys, so as mentioned, you know, my content have not been what you guys are used to. And um, the reason for that is, why it seems like you know my content is all over the place is because i was dealing with burnout creator burnout okay that is a real 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 thing and i was experiencing it since november of last year yes i was really in this low place where youtube is concerned and you know, I thought, hey, just keep pushing, just keep pushing, you know, you're gonna get there in the end, you've been doing this for five years, and always, I remind myself of where I started, you know, and where I am today. This is why I used to do those, um, you know, every time I hit a milestone on YouTube, I'd create a video like, oh, I hit 5,000 subscribers or 6,000 subscribers. I would always, you know, share that with you. And some of you guys are aware of it. And when you guys saw that I was hitting milestones, you're like, hey, you haven't done a video about this milestone, you know? So, whew, you know, you guys have been with me and you saw me, you know, being on this platform for as long as I have and grown to where I am today. And I always said to myself, like, when I get to this subscriber amount, I'm still gonna keep going because I remember the days when I wasn't there and I always wanted this amount of subscribers and what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna always show up. But when burnout came, I was like, oh hell no, I need some time for myself, right? So um, in November of last year, I really started experiencing some low moments when it came to YouTube. Um, I was in the gutter, but I just kept recording video, kept showing up, and it just felt like to me, like, um, the amount of effort that I was putting in, I wasn't seeing it coming back to me in terms of engagement and stuff like that. And then I started thinking to myself, like, what is going on? Why am I not connecting with my audience? What's happening here? I even signed up to a YouTube, um, course because I'm like something's wrong like what's going on with me and it was interesting to me that when I signed up to the course a lot of the things um, I was already aware of and already doing but I also did learn some very very good um, tips and you know strategies and stuff like that but even in doing all of that I still wasn't able to pull myself out of this gutter and you know show up for you even though you know you would have seen that in november december january and some parts of february i was putting out content consistently i was doing that feeling really down like guys the, i was crying crying and like just feeling like what the hell like i'm talking to my grandma i'm bawling my eyes out talking to my sister i'm bawling my eyes out even on the course that i was doing um you know because there was like a zoom meeting and every week and you know when i was you know i chime in to have a little say in whatever and it was the last this was actually the last um video call that the whole group was gonna have together and, you know i was just like you know saying how appreciative i am of everything and blah 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 and in the midst of that i just started crying i just started crying and i'm just like okay i really know what's going on here because i have suffered with depression suffered from or with depression once in the past and i understand 
myself and know when I'm going into that state. And I clicked that this is what usually happened. When I start crying for no reason, I don't know why I'm crying. I don't know what's going on with me. I know I'm headed downwards, right? So I was just crying. I find like anything I would think about just YouTube wise, career wise, family wise, anything. If I think too much on it, like, oh my God, it's not going the way I want it. I just start crying. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I spoke with my mentor um, one away and she says, hey, if you need to take a break, just take a break from YouTube. So I was like, well, okay, how long she, do you recommend? And she's like, listen, take as long as you need, right? Don't rush it because you're gonna find yourself back in this depressive state, right? So anyway, um, I, had, I had already recorded all my content for December and January and edited them. So when you guys were seeing my content coming out, constantly or consistently should I say um, it was only because I had already pre-recorded them and edited them and had them scheduled for you guys to um, you know for when a Sunday would come and whatnot so anyway when the the schedule content ran out I was just like okay well here I am and I still did not feel like I wanted to record anything because that's what I even said to my mentor. I was like, okay, well maybe when January, December and January and you know, some parts of February, I think it was only two weeks. So I was like, okay, in this two and a half months that I will have away from YouTube, maybe I'm gonna be ready to just go with the flow again. And it's now June and here I am doing a proper, you know, video in a sense for my YouTube channel. Now, when I say proper in a sense, um, I'm aware that I had some other videos uploaded in terms of like, you know, my Kevin Samuels videos, right? <laughs> which some of y'all did not like, which some of y'all went bye-bye and that's fine. For those who are here, at least you're gonna understand why you were seeing those type of content on my channel. So when, um, you know, the time frame had passed and I realized that I still didn't feel like I wanted to create content. Yes, there was some content sprinkled in, sprinkled in here and there. And those were only because those were content that was recorded. Like even to this moment while I'm talking with you guys, there are a lot of content that I had pre-recorded that is still on my SD card that I haven't even edited. And you know, that include like Jaden's one month um, lock update. Um, I did record some, um, you know, I was just recording bits and bobs here and there. Um, Cause I was thinking, yeah, I'm gonna just upload it. I'm gonna edit it and upload it. And y'all still ain't even seen it. But I plan on bringing them back. But I wanted to, before I did all of that, I wanted to come on here and explain to you guys why, you know, my content has seemed to be like, not there, right? So, how this Kevin Samuels, my Kevin Samuels content tied in is now during this time where I was not feeling like I want to come out here and talk and share anything, even though I have content already recorded, I did not want to edit them because even when I do my voiceover videos, I have to literally watch my video back and like before even editing my video, I watch everything and I write out the points that I want to make in the video. And then I would have to voice the, record that voice over and then go into editing the video. So yeah, so there's a lot goes behind just editing a video, even if it's like three minutes, five minutes long, especially the voiceovers. <laughs> There's a lot go into it, right? So even though I had those content ready, recorded, should I say, I just still didn't have any desire to go and do any of this, right? So anyway, you know, my husband introduced me to Kevin Samuels in the midst of all of this, okay? <laughs> so I was introduced to Kevin Samuels around the time when Derek Jackson situation came out, right? So my husband, probably say my husband told me about Derek, um, Derek, about Kevin Samuels on a uh, Saturday, then say on the Monday or whenever the whole Kevin um, Derek Jackson thing came out, it's like 
I heard about Kevin Samuels probably like two days prior to that okay so it's quite recent that I've heard about Kevin Samuels and when I heard heard him I was very intrigued by what he was saying I found a lot of value in what he was saying and I felt like I wanted to share my thoughts and my opinions on what he was saying and whatnot and for a long time I was thinking to myself that I want to record content but I was saying to my husband like oh my god even though I really really want to do this I just have no desire to do it and the day when I actually recorded the content I was in the mood to do it and then I talked myself out of it and then I talked myself back into it and when I got that vibe of yeah I want to do it I just thought get myself ready and do this so there is no excuse of me not creating content and the whole thing behind that was I was saying to my husband okay well maybe you know if I start doing this this particular content at least it's something I really want to talk about because you know what he was saying was like for a lot of people crazy but for me I was like no I I agree with him right so anyway so I thought I was going to that was going to make me want to jump back into the game of doing YouTube and even when I uploaded that like after I was just like oh, I don't want to do it no more so it's, it's this weird thing this back and forth back and forth in my head but I was doing this content because it inspired me you know Kevin Samuel's content inspired me to talk on certain topics and also in the midst of me not uploading I was thinking to myself I would like to you know transition into talking about other topics along with my hair content now if you guys are aware or remember not last year 2019 I believe is wow it was 2019 wow it was it 2019 it was 2019 yeah I believe 2019 I started this thing called um, uh, well I did one podcast style um, video and it was called breaking relationships so before I even knew about Kevin Samuels I wanted to tap into this particular section here off YouTube but you know just talk about just things in general life in general right so anyway when Kevin Samuels, um, you know, I was introduced to Kevin Samuels and I was inspired to do that content. I was like, yeah, that's going to help me segue into something else that I've always wanted to get into. But not even that pulled me up out of it. So that explains why you were seeing a lot of Kevin Samuels content on my channel, because it was something that I really wanted to talk about. And also my recent Kevin Samuels stuff was um, a live that I did over on Instagram, which you guys should be following me on Instagram. <laughs> so I thought, hey, you know what, let me just break that live down into different content, like not different content, but different um, videos and upload it to my channel and you know doing the editing process of all of that would help me get back into the swing of things and want to come back to YouTube right so anyway now that I did that video those videos and like I said I wasn't really feeling like enthusiastic again to really come and do content now in doing that you know a fellow content creator by the name of Chisha Z reached out to me from seeing my content and say hey I would like to collaborate with you and you know we can work together on some content for his platform right his channel and with him reaching out to me wanting to collaborate with me I was like you know what maybe this is gonna be that thing that gonna help me get back into it and stuff like that so we did a video which you can check out on his channel and it will also be here on my channel as well um, we did a video and you know I'm like all right cool like I'm feeling this you know <laughs> and then again we did another video and I'm like all right let's do this I'm ready to get back into YouTube and I want to just introduce it to you guys so you guys can see that all right um, she's gonna be back but she's also gonna be talking about other things and this was something that inspired her and it's something that I've always wanted to do right but I didn't know how I was gonna transition into that side of things especially that you guys only know me for my hair content so I feel like this thing here with the Kevin Samuels and Chisa Jed for um, reaching out to me um, gonna help me to 
segue into the content that I all also wanted to talk about way back then. So with that said, I wanted to let you all know that I will be back to my regular scheduled videos on a Sunday, but my other content, which, you know, I talk about different things or where I am collaborating with other fabulous content creators out here on YouTube. I will be uploading those on a Saturday. So I hope this will be like a nice little for variation, you know, to the content that you see on my channel. Um, so if you want to hear just the everyday type stuff or what's going on in the world in term, well, not what's going on in the world. Like I'm not going to do worldly stuff. I'm going to more so stick to the topic of relationships because like I says, back in 2019, that was a topic that I wanted to touch on as well. So on Saturdays, I will be talking about those type of contents or you will see me with other content creators as well on a Saturday and on Sundays, you will see my hair content. So I just wanted to come on here and let you all know what you can expect and why I have been missing. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was just dealing with a lot, um, you know, with creating content and feeling like I wasn't connecting with you guys and I was getting into a depression guys i really was because i mean you guys decided to subscribe to me Thir over thirty-seven thousand of you decided to subscribe to me and i felt like i was not giving you guys what you um, signed up for i felt like we weren't connecting and it really sent me in a downward spiral thank god it wasn't out of control i just thought let's just read it back let's just read it back but i am back and I am ready to give you content. And um, you can expect today is uh, Tuesday in which I'm recording. So um, you can expect to see some content on earlier, probably before this Saturday, you will see um, some new content regarding, um, you know, just the general stuff that I talk about and um, that I plan to bring to my channel. Um, but then on Sunday, it will go to the usual here content. But then again, I'm not sure. I might switch it up. I might switch it up, guys. I might switch it up. It might not be on a Saturday, okay? It might not be on a Saturday when you see those content. It just depends. Um, but when they do come, you will know, all right? Okay guys, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and it gives you a little bit more understanding of what was going on with me. And I hope you guys can forgive me for, you know, just going haywire over here. Like, wait a minute, you was talking about hair and next thing we're talking about Kevin Samuels. I don't wanna hear you talking about Kevin Samuels. I'm gonna unsubscribe. <laughs> I'm sorry, for those who still stuck around, I appreciate you very, very much. For those who have unsubscribed, you know, I didn't wanna keep you guys here if you didn't wanna be here. And then again, you chose to subscribe, so of course you can choose to unsubscribe. But if my video pop up in your timeline, then, and you watch it, <laughs> And you watch it at least you will understand hopefully you will understand why you were seeing those type of content but you can always subscribe again just for the Sunday content <laughs> so until next time guys I will be back here with another video bye